Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. I am in the south of Vietnam uh, at the Mekong Delta at a city called Gang He, which is its capital. Of course, first time in southern Vietnam. Very excited to be here. And as soon as I got here, which was about 10 minutes ago, I was happy to find that my hotel is actually situated right next to the Gang He Night Market, which of course I wanted to visit. So first time at a Vietnamese night market, let's go see what they gotta eat. First impression after arriving in the city is that it's super colorful. I mean, there are just beautiful lights everywhere. The city is extremely vibrant. It gives off a completely different feel than Saigon. I mean, it's rushed and there's a lot of people. There's of course motorbikes everywhere. But at the same time, it gives off a sense of, I don't know, laid backness. And this is the night market right here. Well, a portion of the night market the food portion, you know, the, the portion we care about. And whenever I go to a night market, I don't know whether it's in Taiwan, it's in Thailand, as long as it's a night market, I just feel so excited to be here. Hi. All right, we're gonna keep going because the last stall we went to, the guy ran out of butter. Um, we're gonna go find a guy with butter. The first thing we're eating is, oh, by the way, this is Doc, our tour guy. He's gonna show us around the Mekong Delta. And you're, you're really excited about this. What, what is this? It's Ban Trang Nung, or you can call it Vietnamese pizza. And this is not like a pizza hut in Vietnam. This is uh, actual, sort of like a Vietnamese pizza. Yeah, so right here, uh -huh. uh, you can see it have like the rice paper for the cousin and then the topping. Okay. So it's kind of like a pizza, but then it's rice paper. It's the typical rice paper you see in a lot of Vietnamese restaurants. Typically, you, you uh, soak that in water a little bit. Yes. And it's just being grilled as is over, yes. uh, over charcoal. And what's on top right here? Uh, so we have the egg, we have the egg. tiny shrimp, uh -huh. we have spring onion, uh -huh. and all the topping, yeah. Wow, and he's rolling it into like a, like a taco. Yeah, kind of. Okay, well I'm excited, let's get one. Alright, so this is it. Oh yeah. Good, right? Oh yeah, it's good. It's almost like a breakfast taco or pizza because of the eggs. It's got a beautiful charred taste to it. I get the shrimp flavor in this because of the shrimp paste. It's super crispy. And what I really like is that you bite through the crunchy layer, yeah. but it's so smooth inside because the egg and the sauce mix well together. It is literally like the thinnest crust pizza on the face of this planet. Yeah, it's my favorite snack. This is your favorite snack? If this is a snack, that means we're going to eat a bunch of more stuff, so mm. I'm going to keep going. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? It's the real egg. They make a whole, they, they pour out on the yolk, uh -huh. and then it makes it quick some seasoning. Put it back in, and then bring it. So they put a hole in an egg. Yes. Because I saw this, and I'm looking at it, I'm looking at these eggs, and I see holes in them. Yes. And they pour out everything. Yes. They they season it. Season it. Then they pour it back in, pour it back and in. they cook it. Yes. Okay, I gotta try one. Yeah. That's some Harry Potter right. stuff. Ooh. It's really hot. This is it. Look at this egg. That's black pepper on the bottom. Dip the egg in the salt. Oh my god. That's it. The chasing with the herb is really, really good. Look at this. The yolk is gone. I wonder if there's anything in the middle. Let me see. Really, there's nothing here. It tastes like a steamed egg that is both yolk and egg whites. Let me try this part with all the pepper here. No. Oh, that's peppery. But it's got to be eaten together with the herbs. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's peppery. Whew. This is good. I think this is a pretty good breakfast. Yeah. I actually haven't even had summer roll since I came to Vietnam, which that's a crime. Right away, the summer roll feels different than what I had in the States. It's not sticky at all. I mean, the ones in the States, it feels a little gelatinous even on the outside. This does not. The ingredients seem to be the same. Shrimp, some pork, uh, green onions. I'm actually really looking forward to this because this is something else I, I've eaten a lot in the States, but I mean, I'm just assuming it's gonna taste a lot better here. Oh yeah. There's a huge difference between what I'm eating here and what I typically get in Vietnamese restaurants in the US. First of all, like I said, um, the wrapper is not nearly as gelatinous. Also, inside, the rice noodles, extremely soft, almost a little mushy. Shrimp is fresh, pork is nice. Mm. This dish tastes more refreshing here because it really doesn't feel heavy at all. Also, another distinct difference is that in the US, um, typically, this wrapper is made with lettuce on the inside. Here is all herbs, and, and it's pretty sharp. It's got a nice, sharp flavor as well. Mm. Oh, excellent. I, I need something to drink, and of course, you gotta get some fresh sugar cane juice. Mm. Oh, that's refreshing. Really sweet, but incredibly refreshing. I saw these walking around Saigon. This night market has a ton of these barbecue stands. I've been wanting to try one of these things. These are basil leaves wrapped in beef. You guys grill a lot of okra here. Yeah. I, I never had okra grill before, which is nice. All right, Doc, you're gonna tell me whether this is legit or not, so okay? we have different kind of sauce here. Uh-huh. 
What, what is that sauce? This one is what we call the, the green chili sauce. Green chili, okay. Green chili sauce. And here, uh, also together with the a little soy bit of hoisin. Sauce. Yeah, the hoisin. Soy sauce. Uh -huh. The basil and beef is what I'm kind of gaming for uh, when, when I came to the stop. And I tried this one. I think this is ridiculous. I love this. Yeah? So much. You love it? So much. <laughs> Now, you're so gonna bad, try it, and then, you, and then you're gonna tell I'll me if, it, if, if I'm just being stupid tourist guy, and I haven't had the best see. one. It's good? It's good, yeah. Yeah? I mean, they have like 20 of these barbecue stalls. <laughs> no, good. this is ridiculous. All right, I love the green chili sauce, because it's a little peppery, it's spicy. This guy's, man, I mean, grilling beef and basil. You can kind of imagine that, right? How extremely fragrant basil is. It's balanced. It's balanced. Like oh. you, you have the fat in there, you have the beef in there, and then you have the green to roll everything in. Balance. It's the perfect wrap. Yeah, like you mentioned, right. synergy, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna try the octopus? Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. I'm having another one of this, these uh, beef basil thingies. This is insane. Mm. Good? Oh. oh. Wow, they did a really good job with this. I can't believe how good this is. <laughs> I eat this all day long. I don't need my beef in a burger anymore. <laughs> I don't need a burger bun. Give me some basil. Give me a basil bun. <laughs> wow. I'm really surprised. I'm glad I did this. By the way, I, I didn't like okra until I came to Vietnam. Grilling okra? Really? No. Okra is so slimy. <laughs> I feel like I was attacked by ectoplasm. <laughs> Grilling okra? Oh, great. So this looks really interesting. It's grilled rice paper, kind of like the pizza I had before, but it's also sort of like a spring roll. This is basically a fried summer roll, but it doesn't have any shrimp, I don't think. It may have some pork, maybe purely vegetarian. I'm not really sure what's in here, except for I, I see carrots and mushrooms. Mmm. Okay, it's definitely not vegetarian. Whew, just kidding, just kidding. I'm okay if it was, because this is actually really delicious. Fabric, so thin, light, and crispy. I love all the veggies, especially the carrots here. I think they pickled it just a little bit. Now, I do taste mushrooms, and I think minced pork inside, along with peanuts, so a lot of crunchy elements here. This, I think this is kind of like maybe a fusion kind of thing, a little modern take on a, on a spring roll or a, or a grill spring roll. Mm. <laughs> really good. I was walking by this. These are mangoes. Yeah, uh, this is the shaky mangoes. Shaking mangoes. Yes. So she was shaking in a container. Yes, in a container with the sauce. And it feels like the sauce is not it's not a sweet sauce. It's gonna be a little salty. It, it's not sweet. It's a little bit salty. Yeah. Uh, sour even. Yeah. It's sweet. It's sweet. Let's give this a try. I never tried this before. I never had mango that wasn't sweet. I'm I'm assuming this is kind of like a little crunchy. It looks a little yeah, crunchy. Very crunchy. Look at this. Some shredded chicken and uh, shredded beef. Yeah. Shredded chicken and beef. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. It's not that sour. It's very crunchy. Yo, this is good. This is really good. It's, oh, it's spicy. I would say. It's spicy and sweet and tangy. Really crunchy. It's, the texture is kind of fibrous. I mean, you're gonna have to chew a lot on this. I can't believe how well this works with, you know, chicken and like spices. This does remind me also a bit of a papaya salad, except for this is like sweeter and juicier. That is great. You guys, Man, you need to try this when you come here. What is this, Doc? This looks like jet. It's not, it's a sweet soup. It's a sweet soup. Yes, um, different kinds of beans here. And that's jet. Yes. I kind of want both. <laughs> All right, so here, here are the two things we got. Um, I, I think this is the jet because yes. it's more colorful. True. I don't know, I don't know how to identify these things. All right, what is usually the difference between this and the soup? So it is traditional. Uh, mm -hmm. Sambo Leung is uh, like kind of Chinese Vietnamese uh -huh. drink. Mm -hmm. So the traditional and all the material here is uh, natural. Yeah, so that's kind of, beans, yeah. Fun guys. Some, some juju. It looks like almost like a, like a porridge, like yeah. a healthy Chinese kanji. Mm. Mm. It tastes like bubble tea with like, oh, there's stuff in here. Mm. That jelly is nice. I myself prefer this one. Yeah? Yeah. This is very much like a bubble tea. All right, this is interesting. I see stuff wrapped in banana leaves. So we have like rice flour and tapioca wrapping the shrimp inside. Shrimp and pork. Well, I was thinking chongzi, which is like rice wrapped in stuff inside the rice, but it's like a translucent sticky cake. Wow, look at this. You can see all the ingredients inside. I see legs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are legs or something. <laughs> Yeah. Is that shrimp? That's shrimp. Okay, okay. Yeah. It is. I was like, I see legs. I'm not sure whose legs they belong to. 
I'm hoping it's a shrimp, and uh, yeah, it was. The first time I see this one in the Mekong Delta. Yeah? Normally they have this in the beach city. Beach city? Yes. Interesting. All right. This rim. Well, I feel honored that they have it here. Oh, grandma can cook. If you're not used to this texture, I feel like you're gonna find it a little off. I mean, it's extremely mochi-esque, but I like it because it's chewy, also snappy because it has the peanuts inside. That shrimp gives it a beautiful, beautiful seafood flavor. This is nice. I mean, I, I don't feel like I can, I can eat many of these because they're, it's heavy, but it's good. I can see why you like it so much. I mean, I, I just can't eat another one. You want it? No, thanks. Oh wow, this this is interesting. A lot of cuttlefish hanging up, and I'm thinking that's uh, some sort of cuttlefish jerky, and she's grilling it. Well, so the best way to grill it is yeah. to use the corn. Like this one, the traditional way. Yeah. But uh, because we live in the city, so you can't cannot do that. set, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, in front of your house, you cannot do that. Yeah. So we use the, the gas stove. Gas stove. Yeah. Oh, she's putting on a machine. No, oh, it's a tenderizer because I was thinking like, I mean, it's thick. Wow, look at that. This really thick, dry looking cuttlefish jerky. It's, it's all tender and, and flaky almost. Look at this. I'm gonna just put these two together. This is dry and it looks not that appetizing. Look at how flaky it has become. Smell good? It smells great. I'm about to bottle this fragrance and spray it all over me. What are you dipping in? Like this uh, with that? Yeah, this and that. Both? Sriracha? Yeah. Tamarind sauce. Tamarind sauce. Oh! So good. Mm. It's really peppery. It's really salty. I don't know if I can eat too much of this. It's good. I mean, it's a fun thing to eat, but after the first couple of bites, it's a little too much for me. Really salty. I like how peppery it is. I love how flaky it is. And I love how she turned like, you know, essentially like a, like a rubber sheet into this. It's fantastic. The whole process is just amazing. But I can't eat more than three bites. Yeah. Very salty, also very sweet mm -hmm. at the same time. This is very much a shareable food. Doc, this is your favorite. Yes. Sticky rice with chicken. Dinner every time I come to Kung Tao. Really? And this is like a traditional Vietnamese dish? Yeah, it could be breakfast, it could be lunch or dinner. Oh, thank there you. Oh, well, that was quick. Spoon inside. Squid inside? Yeah, spoon. Oh, spoon, spoon inside. Oh, spoon. thank you, thank you. Ooh, wow, that's a little different than I thought it was yeah, gonna look like. Yeah, thing is going on in here. That looks good. Wow, look at how juicy the chicken is. Yeah, try it. What is this? Is, was it like pork skin? No, that's um, some kind of um, pico veggie. Mm. All right, we're gonna go eat this somewhere because yeah. she's got like 20,000 people waiting for her. Yeah, it's like busy. It's a very busy place. All right, let's go, let's go eat. I've never seen people line up on motorbikes before. Yeah. They're literally lined up on motorbikes. The sticky rice is stronger than my spoon. I'm just gonna get a big spoonful, a lot of chicken. Oh, I'm out. Is it good? That's really good. The one thing I'm, I'm always scared of when I'm ordering chicken is, is if it's gonna be dry. And that's not the case here. Like, you guys see all the sauce that's on the bottom? You see how that's all glistening? Yeah. The rice itself is delicious, it's very fragrant. And actually, I taste the uh, lap chong, some of the flavor of the lap chong in the rice as well. I don't see why this is your favorite dish. They give you so many so many things here, like a couple of quail eggs, some pickled veggies, and like some tofu skin. I just wish they give you a better spoon. I mean, this spoon is just like, yes. The rice, like I said, it was stronger than a spoon. Come on, work it, spoon, you can do it. Don't let me down. I'm about to dish the spoon, just shove my face in the box. Probably after the basil beef, my favorite tonight. You know, oh, you know what's really, would be really good? Yeah. If we got the basil beef, and we put it in here. And a little chicken, a little beef. Man, that would be awesome. <laughs> Man, we should have some basil beef left. All right, so let's wrap this up and then we'll go for a walk. I really like this city. Like I said before, it's a lot more peaceful than Saigon. It's just, it's just people just walking around really chilled. You got, a, you got a big lotus flower over there. You can walk on this cool walkway and it's breezy and nice. And apparently there's people fishing at night. Look at this. Well, I had a lot of good food. I took a walk. I feel like I burned most of that off. Now it's time to go to bed because tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna be a really exciting food day. Hey Doc, so what are we, what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, so tomorrow we are going to see the floating market. Floating market, floating there's market. food there, right? Yeah, fruit and food. Wow, well, I'm, re I'm really excited about that. Anyway, I appreciate you showing me around the night market. Can't wait to start the food adventure tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until we eat again.